Hi, it's me again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create uh, ActiveX components and how to use them in different programming languages. So, uh, first what we are going to do is create ActiveX uh, library. So, that is, that is actually a storage space for our components. And I'll name it as my components. Okay. And the first thing I'll do is actually to save it. Okay. Save it like this. And that's the first step. The second step is actually uh, to add components. So now when an uh, ActiveX uh, library exists, uh, what am I going to do is to add, for example, I can add ActiveX form, Active uh, server object, uh, and uh, automatization object, com object, and such. Uh, for example, this is a visual uh, component, and this is non-visual component. So I'll start with this one. This is actually my com object and I'll name it as my com object. Okay. And this is it. So uh, what my com object uh, has is a co class and the interface. Uh, interface is uh, something uh, if you have any experience with Java you would actually actually know what the interface is. It is actually where you put uh, methods and, and other members that you will uh, actually initialize here. How to put it uh, like prototypes of functions will be stored in uh, interfaces and its bodies will be written here. So, uh, I'll add a method, show my message, okay, and this is one method that I will be able to use from my uh, com object. As you can see, I can add parameters here uh, for uh, my function or method, some other flags and stuff, uh, but uh, this is going to be a simple method that will actually just show some uh, message screen. So I'll refresh my implementation and now I need to write a body of the method. So this is a try-catch statement and uh, uh, it's all prepared. I just need to input my method. Okay, uh, so let's actually compile. Okay, there are no errors. So uh, this is a very uh, important step. When you have an uh, ActiveX component, uh, you must uh, register it. Uh, you can do it in two ways. For example, uh, I'll use command prompt and I can use uh, and uh, use the uh, name of the DLL that I want to register. Uh, that is one step and I can use this. So it is registered and it is contained here. And now let's see how I can use it. For this example I will use uh, 
Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 version. I'll create a new object, Windows Forms application. set it so you can see and what I need to do is to add a reference um, like I said I've created a com object as you can as you have seen what I did was actually adding a com object so what I need to do now is look under com for my components we actually name it like that my components As you can see, that is the name. Okay. Okay, so I'll add a button. I'm going to place a button here. So I'll save and simply click on a button. I want to create my COM object. So it will be like this. First, I need to specify. A library and then uh, my com object name and that that is my components it is the library and my com object I'll name it simply X oh say it my test is my components my com object okay and now I can say my test You see, I have this method show my message. And as you can see, that is contained here. And this is its body. So let's actually try how it works. Button. And as you can see, it actually works. So what I did now is actually created a component in C++ Builder and use it in uh, C sharp. Also, I can uh, do it, for example, in uh, Visual Basic. I'll use uh, uh, Visual Basic for applications. And it is pretty much the same. What I'll do is uh, find uh, my component. Okay, here it is. So it is this DLL. And I'll say like this. Then my test as my components, my com object. And I'll say my test show my message. Let's see. Okay. And that is it. So uh, creating an ActiveX component in C++ Builder is really easy. We could actually add it in, uh, add it in a C++ Builder itself, but I don't have that much time on the YouTube, so uh, I'll just explain. So what I did was actually created a new uh, empty ActiveX library, and afterwards I added a com object. And I showed you how the, I did use it in C Sharp and in Visual Basic. Uh, after compiling, what you need to do is actually to register this DLL that is actually, actually an ActiveX component. And that is pretty much it. You need to have that DLL registered on every machine that uh, uh, uses your program. So if your application actually uses this DLL, it first of all must be registered. and like I said, then you can use all components in it. That's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.